Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast with Phil Graham. We help you master Facebook ads and give you an unfair advantage over your competition. Are you ready? Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast, episode 349. I'm Phil Graham. Today, I'm going to be sharing our new 2024 Instagram Reels ad success playbook and game plan, my friends. This is big. You should have a huge focus on Reels ads. And yes, we're still going to be advertising on all the other placements too, but Reels specifically is a huge opportunity this year. And why is that? Why should you focus on Reels ads this year? Well, because so many people are using Instagram Reels. I talked about it last week in my episode about how to crush Facebook and Instagram ads. One of the strategies is to leverage Reels. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of people that log on to Instagram and don't even really look at the feed. They just look at Reels. So it is a big opportunity. Today, I'm actually going to dig deep and share all kinds of strategies, tactics, and thoughts about how we're going to be using Reels ads this year and how I recommend you guys do it too. So there's going to be a lot of value here. I can't wait to share it with you. Before we jump into that, if you guys are looking for some help when it comes to learning ads the right way here in 2024, if you want some one-on-one coaching on that, which I think is the best way to learn it, or if you're looking to have someone run your ads for you so then you can do what you do best, For either of those things, you can go to my website, philgramdigital.com, or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital, and I would love to connect with you. I've also got a Facebook group called Next Level Ads, so facebook.com slash groups slash next level ads. Going to be spending more time in there this year. It's been super busy, but I'm going to make it a priority as the year goes on, so you're welcome to join there as well. Okay, I'm going to jump right in and share our strategy when it comes to reels. We're going to talk overall strategy, creative strategy, and then 17 specific tips for how we do reels ads and how I recommend you guys do them as well. So let's first talk about the overall strategy. So what we're going to be doing and what I recommend you guys do is to leverage reels ads to reach specific audiences that may not always use or see your ads elsewhere on other platforms or other placements. There's some people that only use Reels and Reels is growing like crazy. So it's definitely a great place to be. Like I said earlier, it doesn't mean we're not advertising on all the other placements because those placements are awesome but we definitely want to leverage reels specifically because there are some people that only use that. Also, when it comes to overall strategy, leveraging reels as an additional touch point and the ability to tell a longer story to your retargeting audience, that can make a big difference. You can have longer reels ads and that can be really good, especially for a warm audience, for a retargeting audience. So that's part of our strategy. And, and then, like I said, in addition to ads where we run all placements, we also specifically run ads that are only the reels and story placements, nothing else. And that's definitely something I recommend you guys test and use here in 2024. So let's jump into some creative strategy. So in general, your creatives for reels should be unique. What I don't want you guys to do is to just run ads that look like everyone else's reels. You don't want to do that because then it doesn't really stand out. It doesn't mean you can't look for best practices and some things you like from other reels and implement some of that stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But overall, when you look at your reels, when you look at your reels ads, you do want it to stand out, right? So you want to make sure that it's unique and that it does stand out and doesn't look like everything else that's out there. That's an important part of our creative strategy. Another part of that is differentiation, both in how it looks, but also the content of the reel and how it's delivered and the value that you bring. Those things are so important and can make a huge difference to your success. So you really wanna focus on differentiation 
and value with your reels. And then the other thing I want to mention is timing. Having a mix of Reels ads, for example, have some short ones that are like 15 to 30 seconds, and then have some much longer ones that could be minutes long with different types of content and goals for each timing length. But you want to mix it up and test different things to different audiences because there's a lot of power in that and there's so much opportunity. So those are some of our creative strategies. There's a lot more, but I can't make this like a five hour podcast. So I have to be kind of brief. The next thing I want to do is go into our 17 specific ad tips for success that we'll be using with Instagram reels this year. Number one, you have got to hook viewers instantly. The first couple seconds of a reel are crucial. If you do not start with a hook that gets attention, then it doesn't matter what the rest of your reel does because it's not going to work very well. A lot of people will just drop off and stop watching. You don't want that. You've got to hook them from the very beginning. That means that you don't just start with an introduction. You start with something that gets their attention, whether it's a question that's intriguing or a bold statement or something unexpected. And you can hook them in different ways. You can hook them visually by what they're seeing, but you can also hook them by what you're saying. And really you should be doing both for a really good hook. So that's one very important factor for Reels ads. Number two, in some of your Reels ads, tell a story. Use storytelling. That can be such a huge, huge factor of success. Now, not all of your Reels will tell a story but definitely make some of them tell your story and have it align with who you are as an entrepreneur and as a brand. It's got to make sense. It's got to be authentic. It's got to be real. It could be a story about you or your company or your product or your service, but tell that story. And then don't forget to bring that story back to your customers and clients. Like how does that affect them? Because that's really important. Sometimes people tell a story and they kind of forget to bridge it to why that's important to the customer. If you bridge that, that becomes so much more effective. So use some of your Reels ads to tell stories about your company, your products, your services, or even some of your customers. The next tip for Reels ad success is to highlight and focus on benefits, not features. So many advertisers make this mistake. It's crazy. I see so many ads that are all focused on the features of their product or their service and really not focusing on what people mostly care about, which is the benefits. A great example I like to use is if you were an airplane, if you were like owning an airline and you had trips to Hawaii, Focusing on features would be talking about like the fabric that the airplane seats are made out of and different things like that. Focusing on benefits would be you get people to Hawaii. You're actually focusing more on Hawaii than what your plane is made out of. And the fact that you've got a great safety record, you've got a good on time record, and it'll be an enjoyable flight, but you're really focusing on what people want, which is Hawaii, not, not really the vehicle that gets them there. Does that make sense? So think about how that relates to and translates to whatever you sell, your product or service. Are you talking enough about your benefits versus features? Most of you probably aren't because most people only talk about features. Make sure that you focus on the benefits, not the features in your Reels ads. Another great tip for success is how your Reels appear visually. So when people are using Reels, it's video, it's a visual platform. So you've got to have it very appealing. You've got to use images that are high quality. When you're on video yourself, you want to make sure that your lighting is really good. You want to make sure that you have good audio and you're not just like using the audio from your phone, that you have a third party audio system. And you also want to have good editing. All of those things go into good visuals for reels, but those things can make a huge difference. And I highly recommend you guys pay attention visually to what you're putting out there. 
my next tip, and I'm going to run through these pretty quick because there is 17 and I want to still make this a pretty quick podcast for you guys. Next tip is AUC. AUC. What does that mean? Always use captions. So many people watch video online without the sound on. I don't know why, but it's just reality. There are a lot of people that do use the sound on reels, but still lots of them don't. So make sure that you're always using captions on reels ads and really on any and every video ad, always have captions. The next tip is to, of course, use music and sound. I think this is even more important when it comes to reels because with reels, most of them have music. Most of them do. And with other video ads, they don't always have music in the background. Although, you know, I think a lot of them do, but with reels, most do. And so you want to have some kind of music in the background. You got to be careful because when you're using ads, you've got to use royalty free music. You can't use music that's copywritten. Sometimes you can use regular music in organic posts and stuff like that, but as ads, you can't. So don't make that mistake of using the wrong kind of music. Make sure it's royalty free and authorized to use, but you do want to use some music in the background. Make sure it matches your brand or your service or product and the feel and the vibe you want, but definitely make sure you include that in your Reels ads. My next tip is to make sure that you guys engage with trends. Stay up to date with whatever trends or challenges are on Instagram. And sometimes you'll want to participate in those depending on what they are. You don't always have to because it's not always going, going to like apply to what you guys are doing. But when it does, it's a great way to get some extra attention. So make sure you guys just pay attention to what is trending when it comes to trends. And if you can fit something like that ad into an ad, that can be huge. Next, don't be afraid to have a call to action. Sometimes people wonder if they're doing that too much or not enough. You obviously don't want to have every single ad you ever run be a call to action kind of an ad. But don't be afraid to give value, especially in a Reels ad, and then have a call to action to do something at the end. A lot of times people leave that out or they only do a call to action. That's not very good either. Give some value, inspire people, and then give your call to action. The next tip is actually about timing. I actually kind of talked a little bit about this early in the episode, but the two different timing aspects I would do is on some of your Reels ads, I would keep them short and snappy, maybe do like 15 to 30 seconds or 45 seconds at the most. So I would have some for that, but then I would also have other Reels ads that are much longer that they could be minutes long. Usually that's gonna go to your warm retargeting audience, but I would mix that up and test timing and do different timing increments on your Reels ads combined with the content you use in that amount of time and see what works and what doesn't. That's definitely stuff that we're gonna be doing a lot of this year. Next, I recommend you guys really utilize A-B testing the smart way and the right way. Experiment with different creatives, with different music, with different visuals, of course, with different ad angles and things like that. And really test different captions, like styles of captions big text versus small text, like all these different things, one little difference could actually mean the difference between failure or success. So testing this stuff as you run Reels ads throughout the year and then cataloging what worked and what didn't and why, and then using that with your next ad can really be huge for you guys. So make sure you guys are testing. Okay, a couple more. User-generated content, that can be a really good creative when it comes to Reels ads. So do not be afraid to use some content that your customers or clients have given you or you're even creating with them or you're having them create for you or using testimonials or anything like that or case studies. That kind of stuff can work really good as content for Reels ads. Another great content idea that we'll definitely be utilizing this year is showing your product or service in action, show it being used, whether it's somebody else using it or you demonstrating it, whether you're doing that just visually, like digitally, maybe you're showing the inside of a member's area or if it's clothing or apparel, you're showing it being worn and used in a certain setting. There's a million different ways that you could do this, 
but make sure that whatever you sell and anybody can do this, regardless of the type of business you have, whatever you sell, make sure that you're showing that product or service in action or behind the scenes of that product or service. And that's a great idea for content for Reels ads. The next tip is frequency and consistency. Make sure that you are consistent with your Reels ads. I would not recommend you just run some ads and then stop for three weeks and then run another ad for a week or two and then stop. The start stop method is not that great at all in my opinion. So I recommend you guys be consistent. Even if you have to just have a small budget at first to be consistent, I would much rather have you be consistent because I think that's where you can learn the most and then you can start growing and start improving as time goes on. So consistency is huge. Next, you want to focus on data and analytics. I talked about this a little bit last week. It's one of the biggest factors of success. Pay attention to the metrics. Don't just run an ad and just, oh, it didn't work. Oh, well, that sucks. Don't just think like that. Find out why it didn't work, even if you have to run another test or two to find out. But when you do find out, it's going to be valuable data and it's going to help shape what you do or don't do next. And that can make such a big difference, you guys. And then next, I highly recommend you guys, of course, optimize for mobile. That's kind of a no-brainer because Reels is consumed on phones. But it surprises me how few people do this, whether it's optimizing their Reels, like hopefully that's optimized for mobile. But a lot of times, the link that people send their potential customers or clients to from a Reels ad goes to a page that's not optimized for mobile. It's crazy. So make sure that not only your ad is optimized for phones, but your landing page and website is too. Because if not, you're probably going to just cost yourself money. And then lastly, I highly recommend you guys mix up your audience targeting when you're running Reels ads this year. Don't just use the same targeting every single time. Test different things. Test Advantage Plus audiences, try lookalikes, try different interests and behavior audiences, try some large audiences and some small ones, test different creatives along with the specific audiences, but don't just pick one or two and roll with it. Test different ones throughout the year. And then also I would recommend testing different ad objectives as well, because that can make a big difference. So these are just a bunch of different strategies and tips that we're going to be using in Reels ads this year that have been working well for us. And I highly recommend you guys try them out. Remember, there's so much opportunity with Reels here in 2024. Make sure you guys are leveraging that. Episode 349 is in the books. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you want to get in touch, my website is philgramdigital.com or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. I look forward to connecting with you. And we got a lot of great episodes coming up soon. I will talk to you guys next week. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and share this with all your friends. For show notes, more tips, and to learn more about Phil, please visit philgramdigital.com slash podcast.